Hi, welcome to Crafts for Real. The project that you're about to see is my mm -hmm. biggest build to date. I've done carpentry projects in my past videos, but nothing like this. I hope that this video will inspire you, especially the ladies out there, to take on DIY projects to improve your home. Enjoy the video, and if you are new to my channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification button for more videos like it. This is the kitchen before the build. I'm using 3 4th marine plywood and 1 by 2s which will be used to support the walls and the shelves inside the cabinets. I'm installing two pull-out baskets in the first cabinet. I only installed one pull-out basket here so that I can still use the space in the corner.
here I'm building a tall cabinet with four shelves and three drawers. This is where I can keep my kitchen appliances and groceries so I can limit the clutter on the countertop. Then I'm using L brackets to fasten the cabinet to the wall. This is the top of the cabinet. I also fastened the walls and support of the other cabinets with brackets and screws. Now I'm preparing the parts for the drawers. This is my circular saw converted into a table saw. These corner clamp holders made the work easier. I'm using one fourth marine plywood for the bottom drawer. To drill the flat bottom screw for the concealed hinges cup, I'm using a 35mm crossner bit.
Here, I'm already preparing the frame where I can install the cabinet doors. These are the cabinet doors and they are ready for installation. I'm using wood filler to fill in the voids or gaps in the plywood edges and I may need to reapply for a smooth finish. And yes, it makes a lot of dust when you sand it smooth. After sanding, I need to prime the wood. If priming raises the grain of the wood, sanding with a fine grit sandpaper is needed. I painted everything with two coats of primer and two coats of top coat. And I'm still thinking if I should paint it with polyurethane to seal it. They say that building kitchen cabinets is daunting, but guess what? With basic tools, some creativity, and a little bit of skill, it is doable. Thank you for watching.